Good evening. Terre Haute is on display for the state and the country. This weekend brings several major events to the city. It's one of the reasons the city council is considering an ordinance to clean up some unsightly art with a fresh coat of paint. News 10's Matt Gregory has details in tonight's top story. The melting snow and the bright sun signal the spring thaw out has begun. Across the city, another sign of warm weather returns, clouding the cityscape. Graffiti. You know, some homeowners or property owners won't let them get on their property to remove it. And, you know, studies have shown if you allow graffiti to linger, it attracts more graffiti and just um, is not good to allow it to remain there. This weekend's upcoming state finals for girls basketball, the big bowling tournament, and Rose Hulman's regional robotics competition puts Terre Haute on the state and national radar. If we have a bad image and portray that bad image, I think we're just kind of hindering ourselves and attracting good people to be here or keep people to remain here. That's why Police Chief Plassey has worked with the City Council to put an end to this kind of art, with an ordinance to force graffiti removal. Basically 30 days weather dependent to clean up their graffiti and if they're not able to themselves, can't afford it or don't have the means, allow the city to do that. The rule would apply to both private houses and businesses and it would be carried out by code enforcement. But Chief Plassey wants to stress it's not about victimizing property owners, just encouraging Terre Haute to live up to its motto, a level above. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Matt Gregory, News 10. Now the City Council will be reviewing the ordinance at next week's Thursday night meeting.